right now from today's TMJ4. This is Live at 5 Saturday. And now at 5, a gunfight at a Milwaukee gas station in broad daylight. How an argument at the pump had customers running for their lives. Well, good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Shannon Sims. Now, one man is dead, another in the hospital fighting for his life. Yona Gavino is at that gas station, and this is an all too familiar scene at this particular place, Yona. Yeah, that certainly is the case, Shannon. I can tell you that police were out here for several hours this afternoon trying to figure out what exactly sparked this deadly shootout. But you know what? This is not even the first time that something like this has happened at this gas station. And I talked to one customer who, for her, it's the second time she's narrowly missed getting caught in crossfire. It wasn't customers, but police officers who crowded this U.S. gas station. Orange cones marked evidence from a shootout, and the medical examiner snapped photos of the crime scene. Police say a 24-year-old man was killed and a 42-year-old man hurt after they fired at each other. It's upsetting. It's unnecessary. Why? Why a gas station? Michelle Moore lives nearby and just wanted to go to the gas station and fill up her tank. But when she got here, it was completely taped off and there were officers everywhere. She expected to see low gas prices. Instead, she was met with police officers standing guard around the perimeter. I feel bad, I mean, because I don't know about coming in here anymore. I might have to go a little further now. I have to rethink this. It's especially troubling to Michelle, who just missed another shootout at this same gas station earlier this summer. It happened right after she already gassed up and left. Something's, something's wrong. <laughs> That's all I can say. Something's not adding up. Because this is, I mean, this is within a few months. The 42-year-old man who was shot during the shootout was taken to the hospital and is expected to survive. Police tell me their next step is to talk to him about what exactly happened, as well as to check out footage from the surveillance cameras behind me to see what exactly they captured. We're live here in Milwaukee. Yona Gavino, today's TMJ4. All right.